Hey everyone, long time no video. I am back, I'm ready to record more, and Taylor and I had an awesome two days of dumpster diving this week. We have a lot of stuff to go through, I'm very excited, and let's just hop right into it. I also, if you couldn't tell, I got a new camera. We didn't buy this specifically for my YouTube channel or dumpster diving or anything, but it is a really nice camera. I do have a view screen, and so if my eyes are shifting from looking at the lens to the view screen, that's why I'm just still getting used to it. But let's hop in and show you the things that we found. I'm trying them all around me right here. I'm trying to decide how I would like to show them, and I think the best way to go about it is maybe what I'm least excited about and working up to what I was most excited to find. So without further ado, let's get started. So we were in, we went to a couple different locations and we, so we hit up two different searchers and I can't remember which ones were from the same bin but regardless this is all from Zurchers. I like Zurchers. I feel like we usually find some relatively cool stuff there um, but sometimes we also find things that just aren't really applicable to mine and Taylor's life and yeah what we need at the time so I often feel like we're pulling things out that I would just rather donate um, instead of use for ourselves but we'll show you them anyways. For instance um, I have to step back so we found this big cool kind of palm leaf fan again like i i might at one point have a use for this maybe to blow dry my hair because it's still wet but probably not so i think i'll just donate it because i'm sure somebody would like something like that um again we found a princess wand i guess that's backwards um yeah pretty good condition nothing's wrong with it it's a little bit loose at the top but i feel like kids break these anyway so who cares so other than that it's in great condition we also found one second i left these two things on the floor let it focus in again this sign with ribbon that says mom to be it's all glittery um, obviously probably from a baby shower so I'll just donate that because I'm not gonna be a mom to be anytime soon put that back down and also a witch hat in relatively good condition as well there's nothing wrong you can kind of see up at the top and the only thing wrong obviously why it was in the dumpster is this little things poking out but if you just push it in and like fold it back over and either like put in a couple stitches or just re-glue it, it's fine. So that was kind of a fun find. Let's see, what, what should we do next? We found a couple of these guys. What are these called? Like lantern things from um, a dumpster called Pure One. And yeah, so the glass was mostly broken in it, so we just popped out the glass. This will look cute with a candle in it. I'm excited about that. I have these all over my house. I find these in abundance in dumpsters. Um, okay, now on to candles. If you guys have watched my other videos, you can see that I love candles. I love finding them. It never gets old to me. And so this is from Bath & Body Works and Yankee Candle. They share a dumpster at my local location. Um, I put on a glove because some of these are a little bit goopy because there's also lotion in there. Um, I just haven't cleaned them off yet. So just kind of go through. Found candles, some of the glass is broken and therefore I don't know what the scent is. This smells kind of like lavendery, almost just a really clean scent. Not really my favorite, but we'll see what we do with it. Uh, we found this nearly brand new sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle. Uh, you can see, it smells good, it's been barely, barely burned. You can like literally see where the wax dents it and that's how much it's been burned. Um, so I'll probably try to sell it. Sometimes it's a little harder to sell things when they're used like that, but when they're barely used, I might have a good, a good chance selling it. And I love keeping candles but when they're in really good condition like this i figure i can sell it and keep the broken ones for myself i recycle them into i don't know if you can see like there's one burning right behind us i'll just plop in an empty thing like this into a jar that i already have and so because they're hard to sell without a jar so i'll probably try to sell that i did find another unbroken 
candle. This one I won't sell, um, just based on personal experience. They don't sell very well when they've been burnt down this much. It's about halfway gone. It smells so good though. It's orange cream soda. Uh, so I'm excited to keep that and then I'll probably just recycle the jar with other things like I said, but that's a fun find. And then we did find, I don't know if I actually want to pick this one up. I found, I will, it's, it's fine if I get glass on the carpet. So we did find another one. This one is like kind of cracked and broken at the bottom like you can see. Um, scent is autumn woods. It smells really good so I'll probably just keep that. It's kind of like a, like a cologne smell, kind of more rustic which I like. And then we did find this big beauty which is the same as the other one that I showed you. It's been like barely burned. You can see where the wax dips in. So it's probably burned for maybe like 10 minutes. Um, and it is a big Yankee candle. It's heavy, it's a nice glass. And the scent is Evening Star, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it smells okay. So I'll probably try to sell that one. This one kind of smells like cologne too, to me. Uh, and then we do have a couple of these, whew, dropping stuff, wax melt and luscious pumpkin trifle and warm cashmere and these are new i can tell and they smell good i've already smelled them they i think they're just like regular wax melts you just put them in a wax warmer i've just not tried these yankee candle ones yet so that's a pretty cool find we also found three yankee car jars um, in the scent pink sands all brand new not sure why they were in the dumpster maybe a return I really don't know um, it says you can use them in your car your trailer an airplane your briefcase your locker or a tent and so you can kind of see those on the back so lots of uses we'll probably keep this because I like things smelling good um, just a couple more candles a little pack of Macintosh apple uh, tea lights those are fine again I don't know if I'll keep them I don't really like burning tea lights because they just don't last very long uh, I guess those are good for pumpkins now that it's the Halloween season another cracked candle in the scent autumn leaves it smells exactly what you think it would smell like and this one which I was so bummed was cracked because these are so nice the wood wicked candles it's a huge one see if that focuses up a little bit there we go um, and it's in the scent amber and incense which I'm not a huge fan of. Incense make me kind of feel sick, but it's a nice candle. I don't know, maybe I'll cut it up in wax melts. I'm not sure yet, but there's those. And then we do have some lotions that we found as well. I believe these were testers, and so I need to sanitize them first. And I'm not a big lotion wearer, but my sister-in-law is, and I have some friends. We have British Rose, and this is from the body shop, not from the other two stores mentioned before. Oh gosh. And let's see, Fall for Pumpkin. So that's kind of a fun scent, I bet. And then this one I smelled and I really liked is, I don't know how, like Morninga? Or Moringa? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so it's not a bad scent at all, but good lotions, as well as this is one I am excited for because I love face masks, an Amazonian acai uh, radiance mask, and it's pretty full. And it smells really good, so that'll be fun to smear on my face. And, okay, we just have a couple more items. You guys have been troopers. I am not, I said I was going to do this in order from least excited to most excited. Um, and I just noticed these were hiding underneath some of the candles. So I'm not super excited about these. They're fun. I'm glad we have them. But we found all of these little gift bags, these chevron print gift bags in the Zerker's bin. So I'm excited for those because those just always come in handy for various things. As well as this headband. I haven't tried it on my head yet. I don't know if it'll fit my head. Actually, I don't think it will. So I'll probably just donate that. But it's brand new. There are no stains or anything weird on it. So I'll donate that. Um, and then we also found, I'm not sure what store this would have come from, um, but this candle holder. So you just place the candle inside here and the flames kind of illuminate it. Of course, it is cracked right here on the back. And I'm trying to decide if I should crack out all of the... I don't know, whatever you call this stuff. It's not glass. Maybe it is glass. It was kind of sharp, but plasticky glass stuff. Because I think it would be pretty with just the flowers, or obviously if you face it that way, you wouldn't be able to tell. So I'm still deciding on that. But that was kind of a fun find for fall decor. And then I have to bend down. We also 
recently have been peeking into the Joanne fabric store um, dumpsters and we found some good stuff throughout time to time. We found some of these um, floral shindigs. They're originally $10 each and it just says, let's see if that focuses, there you go. It just says bush on it. So obviously these are for like floral design. So I found four of those. Not sure what I'll do with them, but I'll hang on to them because I'm sure I'll find something eventually. Um, this mini wreath, as you can see, I think some of like the cotton flower, I think there's supposed to be one more cotton right there just because it would make it um, a little bit cuter and more organized, but looks like it has some ma magnolia leaves and cotton. So it's super, super tiny, um, but kind of a fun find as well as two big wreaths. So one of them I like a little better than the other. So I'll probably either give the other one away or try to sell it because they're both really good quality. Originally $50. Tags are still on them. Let's see if I back up a little bit. So we found this. And if you look closely and like maybe right here in this area, it's a little bare. So I'm sure maybe some of this stuff just fell off. But um, other than that, it's in really good condition. There's the back of it. You can see it comes with even a little string to hang it. Um, and yeah, originally $49.99. So tag's still on it. Everything's in good shape. So I'm glad we rescued that for the dumpster. This is the one I like a little bit less. The one that I was so excited to find, it was buried under trash bags. So I'm glad that we looked. Is this, let's see if it, yeah, there we go. Um, this Christmas buried kind of frosted looking wreath. I don't have a Christmas wreath yet, so I'm excited. This one was $40 originally, so a little bit less than the other one, but um, overall really good condition. I can't see why it would have been thrown out. I guess this one's a tiny bit loose, but I think you could even just like push it back and it'll stay maybe a tiny bit of glue. So I don't know why this one was thrown out, but I'm really excited that we found that wreath. And that's everything we found in the last two days. Really good finds, really happy about them and excited to keep going. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.